We present the accompanying videos for our paper on the face-based approach for animating images using video examples. We begin with the results of applying our technique to a variety of natural images. For each result, we first show the input image to the left and one or more example videos used to drive the animation process to the right. Next, we show the user marked regions in the input image and the first frame of the example video. The sparse corresponding strokes that are optionally marked by the user are shown with dashed lines. The user inputs are color coded to indicate the correspondence between the image and the video frame. Finally, we show the resultant animation. The next set of clips show the comparison of our proposed animation method with that of Okabe et al. The input videos and user strokes used to generate our results have already been shown in the results section of this video. The final animation by Okabe et al. is shown to the left and the result of our technique is shown to the right. We now compare the animation results obtained using three different approaches for the video alignment step of our proposed animation pipeline. The leftmost result is generated using linear extrapolation of sparse user strokes for alignment of the example video. The result shown at the center is generated using SIFTLO with its default settings. The result to the right is generated after aligning the example video using our proposed alignment method. Next, we show the effect of reducing steerable filter bandwidth on the resultant animation. Here, we show the original video and the animation results using octave, half octave and quarter octave bandwidth filters. Let us zoom into the insets and view the results in slow motion, pausing at some relevant time instants.
we now highlight the limitation of the proposed phase-based animation technique. 